Uh, my name is Gary Ellis. I have a 200-acre uh, farm in southeast Tennessee, close to the Alabama state line. Um, it's been in the family since uh, 1912, so uh, we've got a lot of history here on this particular farm. We've just recently achieved the century farm status, uh, which means uh, continuous agricultural uh, production for 100 years uh, by the same family. And what we do here uh, currently is beef cattle ranch. Uh, we've got about 50 um, Angus and Charlotte mix. Of course, I work full time as electrical engineer in Chattanooga with an engineering firm Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. So um, come home in the afternoons and come up here and relax and take care of things on the farm, check on everything. Of course, weekend, Saturday, Sunday, I'm out uh, doing quite a bit of work, you know, with uh, driving the massive person tractors around, <laughs> doing uh, various farming activities. Just the economics of the whole modern situation with farming have not really allowed you to support yourself strictly from a family farm like you used to be able to, you know, 100, 50, 75 years ago. You've got to have supplemental income uh, in order to have enough money to just maintain everything. It seems like society has kind of um, taught our children that the most acceptable social activities have been more of a metropolitan setting. You know, children don't really see it as being as normal anymore to be out on the farm, I don't think. Autumn uh, likes to read a lot, so, um, but then she also likes to get out and go camping and um, enjoys the outdoors. We go hiking, have little picnics up on the mountainside on our land and the property up here. I feel pretty good about the chances of her uh, continuing the same farm legacy that we've established here in the Ellis family. Okay, right here we have uh, 72 acres, which you can, you can see you've got some upland hill uh, pasture land. You've got some creekside uh, level fields. Uh, we grow a lot of hay down there along the creek and use this uplands for pasture. Uh, which uh, is actually a uh, pretty efficient use of the land. Uh, one great benefit here on the farm has been the, uh, the state's help we've received from the Tennessee Agricultural Enhancement Program. If you've got, you meet certain minimum qualifications, we are cattle herd in terms of size, and also if you attend the, uh, the classes that I have structured for you, uh, the Master Beef Producers classes, which I've done, then they also uh, also fund projects for you around the farm just to uh, to help keep up your structure and improve and grow your farm, which I think is a great uh, initiative by the state of Tennessee that they've made that investment in, in small and mid-sized farms because that's the guys that can really benefit from these programs. Also, the uh, NRCS, the uh, soil conservation uh, agent, has been very beneficial too has uh, provided funding for internal fence lines and water points which have really facilitated the use of uh, rotational grazing. We've seen a tremendous uh, benefit to the farm as a result of those programs. You know, with the inheritance of your land there comes a responsibility to improve it as much as possible and eventually pass it along to your uh, children one day so that they can do the same thing. <laughs>